the Raiders hired Josh McDaniels. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't expect this. I, I kind of thought McDaniels was sticking around in New England to be the next guy under Belichick or, or to take over for Belichick. And instead, I mean, is is this purely because they have Hunter Renfro on the roster and, and he wants to go coach uh, Hunter Renfro? <laughs> no, I I don't I don't understand Josh. I, I you know maybe maybe he's gotten hints or words that Bill's just nowhere near retirement. And, and maybe so, so. I mean, you know, it, being the heir apparent, to, which is weird to me. Like I feel like at some point in time, Bill, what do you have to like? Every, what else do you have every year that goes on? Like you kind of hurt your legacy, um, you know. But I don't know. It, it this is it. It's strange. I, I would imagine Bill O'Brien will be the next offensive coordinator at the Patriots. If I he's would not imagine. named a head coach, yeah, if he, yeah, he could still be named I mean, a head he's, coach. He's certainly. interviewing for the bill. Uh, the uh, what's the job that's still open? The Dolphins, Texans, yeah, uh, yeah. not the he, Texans. He interviewed. <laughs> he no Dolphins and Jags. Uh, he he interviewed for the Dolphins job. Ah, okay, I and then of course was, there's the I Vikings was job as well. So, yeah, um, yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, who knows what ends up happening with Bill O'Brien? But going back to McDaniel's, why you would choose to take the Raiders job after not taking and the Colts job was several several years ago. You still had Tom Brady as your quarterback, etc. Maybe he feels like because the offense for the Patriots has, I mean, frankly, not been great. Like it hadn't been very good. So this would be alarming to me as a Pats fan that uh he might not be sold on Mac Jones. I don't know possible. if he wants to hitch his wagon and he's got a head coaching offer today, take the head coaching offer. I think it's a smart move, honestly. But I also well, thought it would I be mean, a smart also, move. Also, you know, yeah, I mean it, I think he should be a head coach. I think he's I th- I don't think he's a bad head coach. No, I, like I, I don't think I think he'll be fine. This guy won a playoff game with Tim Tebow at quarterback. I, I, I also mean, believe, by the way, that if Aaron Rodgers takes that Broncos job, holy shit. That division he just stepped into is a mother. Uh, yes, very, very much so. Very much so. <laughs> so, I, I listen, I I like Carr. Carr's grown on me. But you better you better come to fight with something else, okay? Yes. He may not you need got Justin, else. You got Justin Herbert, you got Jimmy G, and you got oh, not Jimmy G. Uh, uh, you got you got Patrick Mahomes, and you got Aaron Rodgers, all in the same division, and you're going to fight with Carr. Yeah, but he got a secret weapon. No. He got Hunter Renfro. Oh, I, I don't. I don't know that Hunter. <laughs> Hunter doesn't overcome that. Listen, Hunter and I got the same haircut. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.